Hi, following on from my recent video about my video editing PC, a few people suggested that I tried DaVinci Resolve to do my video editing to see if it used the hardware more efficiently. So I've just edited a video in that program. It was a little bit painful. I'm so used to Adobe Premiere Pro, so the keystrokes and the workflow is slightly different in here. So if I do continue using it, there's a bit of a learning process there to make my uh, video editing a bit more efficient. But I'm just about to export that video. I think it's about eight minutes long. So the idea is that hopefully the export process should be less than eight minutes. So I think I've got all the settings for the export very similar to Adobe Premiere. So I'm just about to export it now. And then we can click Start Render. Now one of the problems that I noticed recently with Adobe Premiere is that it wasn't using the CPU and the graphics card to the full extent. However, what you can see here is that it is using the GPU significantly more than Adobe Premiere Pro was. And this looks to be incrementing faster than real time. So it's not using all of the CPU, which is quite interesting, but it's significantly using more of the GPU. So we weren't seeing anything like this 3D usage. It's using about 25% video in code. And then let's have a look at CUDA cores and it's using about 14% of those. So it's definitely doing more. Um, again, we're still not getting 100% CPU usage, which is a little bit puzzling for me. It suggests that now the CPU is not the bottleneck in the system. So I'm just going to leave this going and see how it goes. So we're getting towards the end of the encode. We're at about 7 minutes 20 with 1 minute left, which is still very similar to Adobe Premiere Pro which is quite interesting really because we're seeing very different CPU and GPU usage compared to Premiere Pro, but the end result is not a whole lot different. So once this is finished, I am just going to try some different settings for the export and see if I'm able to utilize everything that we've got available. Right, so I've just set up a bunch of rendering tasks and here you can see that first of all, we're doing the Cineform output and this appears to be quite a bit quicker than the MP4 H.264 encoding. So uh, this is about two minutes in with four and a half minutes remaining. It's using almost all of the 3D capabilities on the GPU and about 70% of the CPU. So the Cineform output has finished. That only took five minutes 52. I'm not sure if YouTube accepts that format directly or whether I need to re-encode it in Handbrake. Another suggestion was to use DNxHr as an intermediate format, but this is taking significantly longer, so I don't think this is a particularly viable option. It's still not using 100% CPU, and it's not using all of the GPU either. So I don't think we're going to see any better results from DaVinci than we are from Adobe Premiere Pro. So after having to play around with the various different encoding formats, I haven't really come up with anything better than what I was getting at the start. So I'm going to stick with Adobe for now. Adobe Premiere Pro I'm really familiar with and I can get a video edited really quickly. And then uh, Media Encoder does the encoding about as fast as I'm going to see it, I think. So I have had a look online and quite a few people have seen this issue where they've got quite a lot of cores on their processor. And it's not really clear whether it's down to an inefficiency with the multi-threading or whether it's just down to the H.264 encoder, uh, well, the codec itself. So it was interesting using DaVinci Resolve. Uh, again, I'd need to do a bit more work to get used to the workflow, but it's got some really nice features. So some of the audio features, the audio normalizing is really good in this. So I need to see if there's some better plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro because this made everything really easy. So hopefully you found the video useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.